and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today, I'm super excited to be a part of the Kindness Hop over on Instagram, which is sponsored by Barely Arts and Cat Scrappiness. Here on my YouTube channel, I'll be sharing how I made this beautiful floral card using Distress Oxide inks and an embossed resist technique. I will place a link to my Instagram post in the description box below so you can check out all of the creations from each of the hop participants and enter to win some prizes. So let's get started. I'm starting with a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock that I've trimmed down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I've placed this inside of my Misty stamping platform. And because I'm gonna be embossing, I've used my anti-static powder bag on top. And here I'm applying some Versamark clear ink to the largest lace flower stamp in the lace flower stamp set from Gina K Designs. And I'm just applying several coats. Now, because this is clear ink, you can't really see what I'm doing here, but once I start adding that distress ink, you'll really be able to see the beautiful floral image. So here I'm just applying some clear embossing powder and I'm gonna flick off the excess powder and then apply my heat tool. I always like to apply heat to both the front and the back side to help prevent warping. Now that I have all of the clear embossing powder melted, I'm going to go ahead and let that cool for just a second and then I'm going to start applying my Distress Oxide inks. Now I just got this salvage patina and I'm super excited to use it for the first time. So that's what I'm applying here first. I am using the scrapbook.com domed foam applicators, which is my favorite way to apply Distress Oxide ink. It makes it so much easier. I tend to get a better blend using these tools. So after applying the salvage patina, I went in with some peacock feathers and I'm just going to go back and forth until I'm happy with the blend. And then finally, the last color that I'm going to apply is seedless preserves. Now, while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the Instagram hop. Each of the creators are to share their story of how we spread kindness through creativity. And my, my story is that I am a high school teacher and I strive to make each one of my students feel loved and appreciated. Now, because I have over 150 students, this can sometimes be challenging, but I do like to spend my free time crafting and creating cards to give to my students throughout the year, whether it be for their birthday or graduation or just because, and even to let them know that I'm proud of them. So this little gesture of kindness kind of lets them know that I care and I know that most of the students appreciate it and it's always great to have those students come back to visit me years later just to tell me how much I've impacted their life. It really makes me feel awesome. Okay, so back to my card. What I'm doing now is I'm, I'm taking a paper towel and I'm just rubbing it across the white embossed area to remove some of that Distress Oxide ink. Now, when you're done watching this video, if you haven't already, go ahead and head on over to Instagram and check out all of the different cards and creations that were made for this hop. You'll have a chance to win one of four Barely Art prize packs, as well as a $25 gift card to Cat Scrappiness. So I've just applied a little bit of mist of water on top, and now I am taking the Hero Arts Infinity Rectangle dies, and I'm just gonna cut this out using the second to the largest rectangle and then I'm also taking a piece of scrap white cardstock and I'm using the Simon Sis stamp. Um, what are these called? Uh, <laughs> the A2 thin dies. And I've cut those out using my Big Shot. And now for my sentiment, I have stamped the Happy Belated with some Versamark ink onto some of the Tranquil Teal cardstock from Gina K Designs. And then I've applied some white embossing powder to the top of that. Now I will be applying my heat tool to this in just a moment, but off camera I took some of that Tranquil Teal cardstock and I cut out a birthday word die and then the shadow out of some white cardstock and that's what I'll use below this sentiment that says happy belated. So I'm using that same Tranquil Teal cardstock as my card, card base. I've cut it down the middle and I've scored it at four and a quarter and then it's time to Put everything together. So I'll be gluing this panel down using some Nouveau Deluxe 
adhesive. This is my favorite liquid glue to use because it dries fast and it dries clear. And it gives me just enough time to kind of scoot it where I want it. And the white thin frame that I cut out using that Simon Says Stamp a2 thin frame die I'm gonna apply on top but I need to make sure that this is good and dry first so I've applied the happy belated sentiment and then the word die that I actually layered up I put three layers of the teal birthday on top of that white shadow but because this is such a thin frame I had to use my art glitter glue with the fine tip to just so that I didn't have too much glue when I glued that down and then to finish this off, I'm just adding some teal and some purple rhinestones to the centers of the flowers. Now, I really love how quick and easy this card was to make. And I love how this blend turned out. I'm going to have to make some more of these. So anyway, let me know what you think about this card in the comments below. And don't forget to head on over to Instagram to hop along and to enter to win some prizes. Please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click on that subscribe button. You can also find additional card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages, as well as my website at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching this video today, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.